Okay, this is gonna be interesting. Okay, I've got a uh, good old spiral made of uh, element number 29, copper. And it's just kind of wound up into a spiral here. And notice, if we look carefully, I've got this vector drawn here, okay? Um, and that's basically to, um, I want you to kind of think about what we did last time when we talked about vector equations and, you know, that, that equation of a line and how I related it to, like, polar coordinates. Well, say my pencil, this wouldn't be the first time we used pencils for vectors. Say this pencil was another vector. It intersects a thing. Okay, well, what it terminates, it kind of carves out a function. And basically, if we watch, if we keep rotating this vector, it goes into a different direction. It get, attains a different magnitude all the way. Okay, and this keeps going. And basically, we can kind of uh, define a, like a spiral type little Archimedes helix or something like that with it, okay? Um, so that's basically what we're going to do is basically we're going to take, you know, this vector, okay? You know, and it might be, you know, here. You know, it terminates there. That's no problem. You know, it terminates over here, you know, and that sort of thing. Yeah, I'll put it on the eraser side. It's a little more user-friendly, I guess. But basically, you know, we, we study how this vector changes, and it's going to change... Um, by a parameter of t, and we're gonna, you know, we're gonna do all sorts of stuff with it. We're gonna study how how the curvature of this thing. We're gonna study the first, second derivatives and all that stuff. We're gonna integrate it. Um, we're gonna find how long this this uh, vector curve is, which is actually quite easy. Um, so th this is just basically just get kind of get a visual. Uh, this was going on. So notice how, you know, everything's changing as I'm going around through here. The pencil is my vector, and pretend it just, kind of use your imagination, it terminates. But, you know, notice how as it changes, it kind of carves out our function right here, which is, you know, the copper wire. So, hopefully this is a good way to introduce it to you. And in the next video, I'll do a little more, I'll be a little more formal about it, and we'll kind of draw it out, okay? So there we go, all right?